this short video on how to create a project in Primavera P6. This is the third of the series of videos I've been making as a prelude to creating a project in Primavera P6. Please, you can see the previous videos by clicking in the detailed description and I've left the link to those videos below. To create a new project in Primavera P6, don't forget we're using this simple project for the purpose of our illustration. The link to download this project is also in the detailed description. If we move down again, if you've been following this series, you know that we are in this step four. And the step four says we should create a new project titled Community Health Center. So to create the project, again, I'll quickly jump into my Primavera P6. The exciting thing with Primavera is that it gives us myriads of ways we can create a project in Primavera about five different ways. And I'll show you all of those methods that you can use to create a new project, Primavera P6. First, you can go to your file menu and simply click on new. And once you do that, you notice the wizard to create a new project pops up. So this is called create a new project wizard. Alternatively, from my directory, directory is the bar by the left-hand side of my screen. The first icon there is the new icon. I can click on it, and once I click on it, notice that I get exact same result, which is the Create a New Project Wizard pops up. Alternatively, I can also do that from my command. Command is the bar by the right-hand side of my Primavera. So when I click on it, uh, you'll notice that there's an Add button there, once I click on that Add button, at the very first button you see in the command, again, the Create a New Project Wizard pops up. This is about the third way to create a new project. I close this window. Another way I can do that is I can simply go to my table and right-click within my table, and then I click on the Add button. So when I do that, again, you notice the Create a New Project Wizard pops up. And then finally, I can simply use the shortcut. And uh, what's the shortcut? The shortcut is simply to do Control N from your keyboard. And again, the Create a New Project Wizard pops up. So whichever you prefer, I'm a bit of old school. So most times to create a new project, I like going to my file menu and clicking on new. So once you've clicked on new, the first thing it would ask you is to select an EPS. More or less, Primavera is saying, under which program do you want to put this project? And that's the question Primavera is asking. Because every project has to be under a particular program or a particular portfolio. So that's why the first question you see when you're creating a new project, once the wizard pops up, is it would ask you to select an EPS. So to do that, simply click in the Browse button where you have the Select EPS, then select the EPS that you want it to be under. In this case, don't forget, we are working with the TCP, that's the Test Construction Project. So that's the EPS we want to put it under. That's the program we want to put it under. So to select it, I can simply double-click on it. And then if you check my you know, Select EPS portion, you can see it's now showing test construction project. Then I click on next. The next thing it asks me is the project ID. I want to jump into the brief real quick to know if an ID was provided. Otherwise, we just use the initials as the project ID. So the initials was not provided, only the project title, which is OK. I copy the project title, which is Community Health Center. And I jump into my Primavera PC. So under the project name, I paste the community's health center as the project name. And then I can use the CHC as the ID. And then once I've done that, I click on Next. It will ask me for the start date of the project. Uh, I'll leave it at today's date, which of course is the date I'm doing this particular video. Uh, we're also not giving a must finish by date. So I'm going to leave this blank and simply go to next. And make sure the responsible manager is still at the project manager. Otherwise, I can click on the browse button and then select the project manager as the responsible manager by double clicking on it. Then I go to next, leave it at standard rate, go to next, 
then you are going to see a congratulatory message saying, congratulations, your new project has been created. And then once I click on finish, if you take a look at my database, you can see I have a new project there, which is CHC Community Health Center Project. So I've been able to create a new pro portfolio and then also create a new program. And right now I've created a new project. In the order that the default project was presented within Primavera P6. So you can see we are building our own gradually. And that's exactly what we have been able to establish in this particular video. I hope you've learned one or two things about how to create a project in Primavera P6. I hope this particular video has been quite informative for you. Once again, I want to thank you so much for watching. And if you need a detailed course about Primavera P6, uh, please, you can buy any of my courses on Primavera P6. You can also subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.